Did you know if you replace the Wi-Fi chip on an iPhone 6S or newer, Wi-Fi still won't work. The button will be grayed out. And that's because the Wi-Fi chip is paired to the motherboard. But there's tools out there to unlock it so you can use any Wi-Fi chip. Previously, there were tools like this where you had to desolder the NAND, put it in here, and unlock it. But now there's a better tool. It's the iRepair P10. This lets you do all the same things as a NAND programmer, but you can do it all through USB. No soldering required. So this saves you a lot of time. So today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the tool, how to use their software, and how to unlock the Wi-Fi chip. So I'm Jesse from VCC Board Repairs. Thanks a lot for joining us here on the channel. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links down below in the description because I have cool shirts like this and my new Facebook group. If you have any questions uh, repair related, just drop them in the Facebook group. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go to irepairbox.com and click the second link. This is the one where it has the downloads for the software you're gonna use for the iRepair P10. And then what you do is you scroll down and you find the P10 uh, option. So you see here on the right side is uh, English for Windows. And if you're using a Mac, it's the one here on the left side. So go ahead and click uh, the one you're gonna download. In this example, we're using Windows 10. And go ahead and just let the file download. It is uh, 83 megabytes, so it will take a few minutes to download. And there you have it. So I'll go ahead and click on it. And what you want to do is extract all. Extract. And here's the software to install. So double click on it. All right, so this part is the tricky part. It's all in Chinese. So what you should do is click this button here. This lets you pick what directory you want the, uh, the software to be installed. So in this example, let's just do it on desktop. I'm gonna create a new folder called uh, P10 tool. I'm gonna click okay. So here you see the directory of where it will install the software. Click the left button at the bottom. All right, so it looks like it has installed. Let's go ahead and find it. So on the desktop called P10 tool. And then open the software. And it looks like it's working. So go ahead and click agree. And here you have it. So you will notice uh, it does look kind of weird here. What we gotta do is drag it from the corner and expand it. You wanna expand it enough so you can see all the buttons on the tool. All right, so there you have it. We have the software up and running. Now let me go ahead and show you how to plug everything in. Okay, so this is how you connect everything. Um, computer through lightning cable. This is a regular iPhone cable. Plug that into the top of the units of the iRepair P10. And then use the included small cable with the blue and white. That goes to the iPhone. So while it's powered on, plug it in. And you'll see on the upper left here, it says normal mode. So we gotta get this into DFU mode. Recovery mode does not work. It has to be DFU mode. But for this model, what you do is uh, click up, down, power. And once the screen goes black, you hold volume down and power for five seconds. And then you let go of power and keep holding volume down. So volume down, one, two, three, four, five. Let go of power. And about 10 seconds, it will go into DFU mode. You'll see on the upper left of the tool, it says now, DFU model, they misspelled that. <laughs> so DFU mode, so click on that button and then go through this process. Now, if you're trying to do this and it fails, like it doesn't even want to try, click firmware here on the tool and then update the firmware and database. Um, that way the device itself is up fully updated. But mine's already updated, so we don't need to do that. If it's your first time, go through that process. 
Now this does take uh, a minute or so and you'll see here you get a random bright color and then now you see it's in purple mode. Now that's in purple mode you'll find a button down here that says unlock Wi-Fi. You click on it. You can click on it as many times as you want. I like to click it a bunch of times just to make sure it goes into uh, it actually unlocks it and for some reason it has disconnected looks like the device restarted but luckily I was able to, to click the unlock button a bunch of times I think it should be good why I did that I'm not sure it usually it should stay there that way you can go and mess with all the different uh, settings but if it does do that for you it will go back into recovery mode to get out of this click exit recovery here at the bottom but if you're still in purple mode click the exit recovery it'll also exit purple mode click on that and you'll see the screen turns off unplug it because if it detects as the iphone is plugged into this while it's trying to boot it'll just automatically go into recovery mode so let this boot up now while that while that's booting up uh, one thing i do want to cover is all the models that it can support so this works on iPhone 10, 8, 8 plus, like iPhone 7, iPhone 7 plus. Uh, what do we have here? 6S, 6S plus, iPhone 6, 6 plus, iPhone SE, iPad mini 1, 2, and 3, iPad mini 4. Um, you know, basically every, <laughs> everything, be, basically from my understanding is A12, iPhone with an A12 CPU, so 10s, 10s Max, 10R, and newer. You cannot. This does not work because it requires. It, it basically is based off of the jailbreak uh, check rain or, or whatever it's called. So just keep that in mind. Now, what what you can do with this as well is edit serial numbers, uh, edit any of these settings you hear you see here on the screen. You can edit them. Uh, you can read and write, so just something to keep in mind. Um, all right, so let's go here to settings, Wi-Fi, and you can see now the button is no longer grayed out and Wi-Fi is working, so I can turn it on and off. I swipe from the bottom, you can see this button is not grayed out either. So yeah, it's pretty much fixed. So there you have it, that is the iRepair P10. All right, so full transparency. While I was filming, I went through the process to unbind it and then booted up the phone and Wi-Fi was still grayed out. Turns out it still had a board issue. So one thing to be aware of is just unbinding by itself does not fix any board issues. You do have to be able to fix the Wi-Fi issue on the motherboard so that when you unbind it and you replace the Wi-Fi chip, then, you know, there's no blocks you know, within the operating system that prevents the new Wi-Fi chip from working. So it's something to keep in mind. Uh, luckily, I just needed to replace the Wi-Fi chip uh, and then it worked. So another thing is, doesn't really matter when you unbind, as long as at the very end, it's un you, know, you unlock it. So like, uh, for example, I could have unbind this before I even opened it so that when I replace a chip, it just boots up and it works. Uh, usually I forget, <laughs> so, so I always uh, you know, fix the board issue, unbind it, and then it'll work. So you know, something to keep in mind. Also, this tool is definitely worth the investment. I think currently it's around $100 or so, and it saves you so much time. So even though you might have a NAND programmer, I definitely recommend spending more money on this tool so it can save you time, because you know, time is money. That's my suggestion up to you if you want to you know, do it the old school way by removing NAND and all that, adding extra whisk. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me today. I'll have this link down below in the description and anything else that I talked about in this video. Also the shirts, the Facebook group. So if you have any questions about any kind of repairs, you know, what screens to use, uh, how, how to price stuff, how to like promote your business, Check out the Facebook group, join it, ask all the questions you want about repair. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll be there in the Facebook group. I'll probably be answering most of the questions. <laughs> so I'll see you guys there. All right, peace out.